Here's a headline from The Hill, Manchin says reconciliation bill must include controversial Hyde Amendment. Here's a better word than controversial to describe the Hyde Amendment, popular. There's a reason why Virginia's 2021 Democratic gubernatorial candidate Terry McAuliffe, who brags about how he's been a brick wall against efforts to place legal limits on abortion, won't say whether he would sign a bill providing taxpayer funding of elective abortions in Virginia's Medicaid program. Only 16 states throughout the country use their tax dollars to fund abortion, and most of those states do so only because of court orders. And there's a reason why the Hyde Amendment was uncontroversial in Congress for four decades. The Hyde Amendment is controversial only inside today's Democratic Party, but Manchin promised in June he would support Hyde in every way possible. Manchin's support for the Hyde Amendment and the Senate filibuster means there's no chance the appropriations bill funding the traditional Medicaid program will provide federal funding for elective abortions this year. It would take an astonishing lack of principles for Manchin to turn around and support a reconciliation bill that would create a new Medicaid-like program in 12 states that funds abortion on demand, especially when there's an easy and obvious way to increase health benefits that doesn't fund abortion. Advertisement Given how the Hyde Amendment polls, Manchin's fellow Democrats in Congress should thank him if he stands firm and keeps them from enacting a deeply unpopular policy.